Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Real United States Video Blog. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and behind the camera, as always, is my camera operator and wife, Beverly Campbell. We're back here in Croswell, Michigan, in front of Michigan Sugar Company, who we featured in a, few, in a previous episode. And I wanted to come back this time of year to show you the sugar beets as they come in. What I have here in my hand is a sugar beet, and in the northern climates of the United States, also in Russia, Germany, Ukraine, many parts of the world in the northern climates, sugar is manufactured from this, the sugar beet. Sugar beet, for those botanists out there, of course, is the beta vulgaris. For those of you that are interested, it's a very firm, starchy, much like a regular red beet, but uh, doesn't taste like a red beet, obviously. It's got a, a kind of a nasty taste if you were to try to eat this. I won't tell you how I know that. It's uh, late November, the beets have been coming in now for several weeks and they're starting to process. You can see the pile here behind me. Hundreds of thousands of tons of these beets. These are put through a, a shredder and then are put through a process where they're cooked and the sugar is extracted with water and then that's evaporated down to make the sugar crystals and the Molasses is extracted in a centrifuge and they slice somewhere on the order of about 80 tons to 100 tons an hour at this facility, at least last I remember. And as you can see, even at that rate, this process is going to take about four months to process this season's sugar beet crop into sugar just at this one factory. Now this is not a small business, Michigan Sugar Company is a relatively good sized corporation but uh, it's certainly one of the smaller manufacturing companies in America. So behind me here you see the machinery that's used, the trucks come in, these huge semi trucks, big dump trucks that are semi trailers, come in from the farms after the beets are harvested, they're poured into this conveyor system, then the, after they're, they're poured into this conveyor system after they're weighed, and brought up and dumped into these huge piles and then the piles actually have ventilation systems underneath them to keep fresh air in there so that the beets won't spoil when we're above freezing here like right now it's above freezing although it's quite cool they will begin to deteriorate so fresh air is pumped in through the piles to help keep these aerated and dry so they don't deteriorate so this is the machinery that's used for unloading and piling these beets. It's a big track system that actually moves so that as the pile builds, they can move it forward and continue to unload the trucks. And again, there's just tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of tons of beets here that'll take them all, uh, somewhere on the order of about four months to process. And that's all the sugar will be produced for a year. So unlike my, my brethren down in the Southern United States that process sugar from sugar cane, and uh, our friends down in Puerto Rico and in, in all of the southern latitudes. Pretty much the same process where the product is ground up and cooked to extract the sugars and then separated after crystallization from the molasses that's left over, but just made from a very, very different organic, uh, different organic material. Uh, sugar cane obviously is a, a, a tall stalk. It's like uh, bamboo. Beets, obviously a broadleaf little plant that grows underground. And I mentioned in a previous episode that uh, I did work here back in the late 1970s. So I just wanted to bring you back here and show you how in the northern latitudes, and I'm sure many of my friends in the northern latitudes in, in Russia and in the Ukraine and other parts of uh, across Europe are familiar with processing sugar from sugar beets. You can hear the big sugar beet trucks driving past us right now. So before we close, we're going to try and do some rolling footage to show you around all of this and the, the big piles of sugar beets that are that are out here in, in behind the fence.
Okay, we've moved indoors because it's pretty chilly and windy outdoors, and I wanted to show you a little bit more about the, the Beta Vulgaris, the sugar beet. Uh, as you can see, it's it, brown on the outside uh, in places, but it's largely a white tuberous vegetable. And uh, I just want to cut this open and show you inside. It's quite a starchy, woody kind of a plant, uh, much more so than a red beet is. Now these obviously, when they're cut for production, are cut by huge machines in, in mass quantities. But you can see this is a very woody vegetable. It does have a common ancestor with the red beet. And this line pattern, I don't know how well that shows up on the, uh, the camera, but these are our, our pockets where the sugar is stored in the root. You see it's a bright white inside, and as these are, are shaved up and grated, essentially, it becomes this huge pile of white grated plant matter that they go ahead then and cook at high temperature and then press to get all the, the sugar juice out of it before processing. So that gives you a look inside of the sugar beet. And again, I'm sure that around the world, if you live in, in the high latitudes that you're familiar with, this as a, as a source of sucrose, regular table sugar, and uh, very different from what a lot of us think of uh, in sugar production with the sugar cane. So that is in fact a sugar beet and how we get sugar in large portions of the northern United States, especially here in the Midwest. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching, joining us here on the Real United States video blog. We hope you'll take time, big subscribe above. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. We'll get, try to get back to everybody just as soon as we can. And as always, thank you for watching.